Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Papa Tony and Chef Ella. Say hi to everybody Ella. And Ella baby, what are we making today Ella for everybody? Yes, we're going to make pigs in a blanket. We're going to try it a couple different ways and stuff. Are we ready to cook, Ella? Yeah! Alright, so we're going to get started and show you what's going on. Okay, folks, me and Chef Ella are about ready to show you what we need. You ready, Ella? Yeah! Okay, first thing when we make pigs in a blanket, we got to make pancake mix first. And you know what's the best kind of pancake mix? is the pancake mix we make ourselves from scratch. So we're going to show them how to make some scratch pancakes. Is that okay? Yeah! Okay, first thing we need to do is crack our eggs. You remember? Yep. Okay, we do it together. That put, take both hands. Well, first take this hand. This is your crack hand. And then when you do it, press it and pull like this. Okay, here we go. Crack it. Okay. Easy, easy, there we go. And that's why we go easy so it don't splatter. Ew, can you wipe it? Yep, I got a towel. There we go. Damn. We got one more. I think you have to do it because I... Okay, watch Papa Tony. Crack it and put my finger and then I pull it apart like that. Can I do the stirring by myself? Okay, stir it up a little bit. Crack that egg with that whip. Poke it, stab it. There you go. Stab, stab. There you go. Stab the babies. <laughs> stab the babies and mix it up. Yes, stab, stab the babies and stir the babies, right? Yep. Yeah, uh, see, they can't see the babies, so let me zoom this out a little bit. Okay, keep on going. Okay. <laughs> Now with this, we need to add... This is, this is not good. Let me try this. Oh, that, that's good. Because we're not done. Next, we've got to add the rest of our wet ingredients, which is six tablespoons of oil. Go ahead and add six tablespoons of oil. Pour it right on in, real fast. That's it. Right in there, real fast. Just like so. Nope, you're doing good. Then we need one teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, yeah, keep on stirring. I'm, I'm smushing. I'm smushing them. So we don't want crunchy ones, right? Mm-hmm. Let me give us a teaspoon of vanilla. That sounds yummy. You want to smell it? It smells great. It does smell good, doesn't it? Yeah, let me smush it up just in case. Yeah, mix it all up real good. So we don't get ready any scratches. Oops. You're doing good. Keep Did stirring you it. Break it. Leave the spatula in the bowl. Okay. You still stirring? That looks good. Smush it up first. You did very good. Smush, smush, Next, smush. Next, we're going to add stir, stir. two and a half cups of milk. Stir, stir it up. Stir. Let let's the camera see that the milk. Okay, there we go. Two and a half cups of milk. Stir that up real good. So we don't want any milk coming, right? No, not at all. Oh, the no. milk is coming. We want them all to be together. Oh, sit up for the camera. They can't see if you're... Nope, that's too hard. This is what we want to do. Like okay, this. I would do that. See, that looks blended in really nice and well. So you did good there. I'm stirring it up still. Oh, look, it's stirring. Uh-huh. The milk is close to me. Let me clean up the milk. You'd be splattered. Okay. 
make so it doesn't get any more wet, right? Well, we just want to keep it in the bowl. Yep, we just want to keep it in the Right now, we're done with the milk. Okay. We're going to slide the milk over here. And then, hold on, wait for me. Let's dry this off a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. First, we're going to add two and two thirds cup of flour into this one. I'm going to pour the flour in because we don't want to make a big old mess like that. Oh, you okay. made a big old mess. I did. Let me clean it up. It's okay. I cleaned it up. You're a good cleaner upper. Okay. Wait, can next I is, it in? Next is two tablespoons of baking powder. Go ahead and add the baking powder. Good girl. Next is, I want to say two thirds of sugar. Let me double check that. Can uh, I dump it? Yes. That is actually one third cup of sugar or 5.333 ounces. I mean 5.33 tablespoons. Okay. And next. I want to taste. We have, that's going to taste. Next we got to add a teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and pour the salt. Pour it all in there. Good girl. I want to oh, take hold the on. sugar. It didn't all go in. I, mean, I want to take the sugar. Well, there's salt on it now, so you don't want to taste that now. It'll taste icky. Can I stir and, it? And we'll do it together, because we don't want to make a big mess. I, I won't make a, I won't make a okay. mess. Stir it all up. Here, like this. Watch Papa Tony. We'll do it together. Put your hand on there so you know what we're doing. And move back a little so they can see on TV. Okay. See, you're only doing it on the top. We got to go all the way to the bottom. Well, were you like that? Here, let me show you another way. We can go like this here. Okay, I will oh, do that. Let me get a little bit under. Let me get it going just a little bit. Okay, you you did it a bit. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Stop it! Let me do it. All right, you're gonna. See, you're spilling. Look at that. Sorry. You gotta do it without making a mess. Otherwise, you're going to mess up the recipe. Ah, don't worry, I'll be the cleaner, okay? Yep. Let me clean it. Just in case we don't get any messes anymore. Let me help you. See, we got it all in here. We should have just put that right back in there. Okay. Next. Dump it in. We're going to do a little bit at a time. Stir, stir, stir. Me too. Me. See how I'm stirring it? Me, I want to stir it. So it can get crunched there, but we don't want it too crunch, right? Yeah, we don't want lumps. No lumps. Let me smush it. Okay, 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 okay. Be careful. Keep stirring. Keep stirring. Get any lumps. <gasps> oh, you scared me. No, I didn't spill, right? Nope. Oh, no, you're making us soapy. Keep on stirring. Really fast. No, no, I'll show you what a lump is. Keep on stirring. A lump is like that? No, that the lumps would be in here. Oh wait. Let me let wait. me stir it so I can show you what a lump looks like. You see all them bumps? They look like little lumps. Those are lumps. Okay. Let me add some more flour. So so, so wait, it's 
Does that make us safe? Keep on stirring. Oh no, stop, stop, stop. Let's clean that up. Yeah, there we go. Now I can stir it. Just slow. Not yeah, it's going to get harder to stir. But we got to do it kind of quick. Hold on. Hold on. I am doing going. Let me help you a little bit. I got to get it off the sides. Okay. You, did you get it off the sides yet? Okay. Now I can stir? Yes. Whoa, it looks like this. That's, yeah, that's not stirring. It's getting hard to stir. I like the lumps. Lumps of, that's just, un, that's flower balls. You don't want no flower balls in your pigs in a blanket. But that I, would be icky. But I like pig cake mix though. Uh-huh. Alright. I want to taste the pancake mix. No, that won't, that won't taste good either until it's cooked. Oh, well, I like pancake mix. Let me see. Check the bottom. Okay. I like it. Okay, so and pancake mix is ready. I'm away. Huh? The lumps are going away. The lumps are going away? That's yeah. a good thing. See? I see that. You see that the lumps are going away? Here, let me clean. I made the little mess. Okay, folks, this is what we're going to try and see how this turns out. We've got a little plan. i got a little plan. Oh! It has it has already been washed. I I like I like icky pop Tony. Hmm. I like icky things. I don't like icky things. Well, I do. Icky's icky. But I really like it. It's my favorite. Okay, let me see. I like icky. It's my favorite thing to do. Icky is my favorite. It is. Yeah. Okay. So I really want to taste sticky. So the first thing I'm going to do is coat this real quickly. I really want to. Hold on, wait for Papa Tony. And I'm going to preheat my oven to 375 degrees. Part of the problem is we're in the dark. There, shoot. Here's what we're going to do. These are cooked sausages I already cooked. For our pigs, hold on. Let me show you what we're gonna do. I'm can, gonna take and fill this up, can, and wait, you're gonna. Can I do, fill it? You, I'm gonna fill it, and you're gonna do the pigs. Me? Mm-hmm. Because if we fill it too much, it's gonna be bad. So, so we can't fill it too much, right? Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, but I can control it. Ah! Oh, don't look at me. Oh yeah, they just look like pigs. I okay. really want now to Now what I want you to do, I really want to do is to Nikki. grab a sausage. I really want to really do Nikki. And it goes right in there and stuff. So but put it where the pancake's at. Right there. And you want to push it down like so. Nope. Okay? Don't get pancake batter all over you. Go ahead and lick that. You're not gonna like it. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I told you I would like it. I told you I would like it. Geez, let me do this. Look at the pancake guy. What about their eyes? It's, the eyes are right down there, see? Ah. So, we're just filling up the belly. So we are there. Yeah, don't forget these. I am. I'm going to do another one. What did I do last one? Yeah. Oh, don't touch that one. Get another one. Okay. Can, can you 
I'm gonna throw that away. It's no more good. Looks like I should have cut these pigs in half. Hold on. Let me do what I need to do to fix this for the oven. I want you to get the spoon. And we'll do that when we're very done, towards the very end. Let I me cover it. Let me put... I love it. It's my favorite. It's chocolate's my favorite. your favorite. Huh? I thought chocolate was your favorite. Chocolate and vanilla and strawberry is my favorite. Chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry is your favorite? Well, we're not going to be done for a little bit. We still got another way of trying to make these. Can I keep stirring for you? And keep stirring for you so we get any norms. There, now it's finished. Oop, let me stir that again. Okay, make okay, let me move this out of the way. Okay, folks, as you can see, we got, oh, we need a pan underneath that. I want to lick this. I want to lick this. Not until the end. Okay. These look, these look just like this. Okay, let me slide this onto the pan here. Okay, we got that pan ready to go for the oven. Now let me... Oh, no, we're not done. We still have to put them in the oven. Now, I'm going to put them in here and you're going to put those sausages in here too. Nope. Just like we did the other ones. Okay? Yeah, go ahead and stick a sausage in there. Push it in. There we go. How about you do the sausage and I do? Yeah, because I we don't want to make a mess all over the pans because that would be bad. Okay. You're the sausage girl. I'm the maker. These sausages. Push it all the way good. down. Don't forget that one. Go the way down like that? Yep. Oh no! That's alright, I'm getting to fill that one yet. This? You're falling behind on sausages. Huh? You're falling behind on the sausages. What? See, you got three sausages there. That needs sausages. Sausages. Let me get two. And nope. And nope. Oh. Watch your fingers. Did I get your chef jacket? I oh, hope not. Doing good, Ella. Oh, you got that one facing the wrong way. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just making a lovely cherries. You just want that to stick up on the top, huh? Yeah, because I want it to be pretty. Okay? Is that going to make it pretty?
the oven ready. So we'll uh, put all these in the oven at the same time. We gotta get all this batter gone before we can lick the spoon. Yeah. It says set the oven to 425. It, it just, it actually just, I just. There was a little bit on me, and then I tasted it. That was awesome. Look, I'm done. Okay, let me top this off because our oven isn't hot now. I was wrong on the temperature, folks. The package says 425 to heat these up on. So I adjusted that, and we'll just wait until that's ready. There's only one sauce left. That means Go ahead and put it in one pan with the sausage already that I haven't covered yet. Pick, pick a sausage. Okay. Look okay, at two sausages together. I see that. Look at, look at them. They're yeah. their best friends. Those Wait, are, best you, friend are you messing the pretty ones? No, I got, you got to have some thing on top of it. On the pretty ones? Well, it's still going to stick out, see? It's melting. <laughs> I want to lick the spoon so bad. People can't see why we were making because I'm blocking the view still, so let's just look at it. Mm, they smell like pancake mix, right? They smell uh -huh. like pancake mix. And Let me clean them. Yeah, go ahead and clean. It says for 12 to 15 minutes. It's all clean It's 138. Now. So let me clean the Well, hold on. We're not done now. I still need to lick it, right? We got to do the next phase because there's another way to make pigs in a blanket, too. You done with all these sausages? I'm going to use this thing. Yep. Oh, you need help up? Okay, next, another way to make pigs in a blanket, let the camera see, is with crumble. We're going to take and do another style of pigs in a blanket. Can I? Yep. Crumble. Pour them right on in. Crumble, crumble, crumble. Yep, keep on crumbling. Crumble everywhere. Keep on crumbling. Well, don't touch the pan next time. Just, just the crumbles. Okay. Ah, crumble, crumble. You, can you put that one in the trash? I will. You keep crumbling till I say stop. They're so cold. I know. So I kept them in the refrigerator. Dad. You gotta quit dropping them on the floor. That might be the last. I'm cute. Let me take a look. Nope, no more crumbles. See, that's enough. See how that looks? Can I have one? Okay. Top one. Go ahead. I want to lick the spoon. I want to lick the spoon. Can I lick the spoon? You're not going to like it. I like it. <laughs> lick it for the camera. Let them watch you at home. Papa Tony. Alright, sweetheart. Hey folks. Okay folks, now we're gonna do our third way, our third way of doing pigs in a blanket. Let's add a little butter to the pan first. Whoa, it's moving by itself, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is very hot, so you stay back and watch. Now you tell me when I get enough in here. How's that look? Enough. Right about there looks good. 
Can I dip it? No, because we still got more pancake powder. Okay. Everybody's watching you put your nose in there. <laughs> now here, let me show you how to cook a pancake. Stand up here. No, this, I don't want you to touch it. You're not going to touch it, but you're going to watch and learn so you know how to tell when a pancake's ready to flip. Wait, you're making pancakes too? We're making pigs in a blanket pancakes. But I want to make regular pancakes. Well, we can't because we got pigs in them. You see how these are starting to do little bubbles? That's how we tell when it gets close to flipping. It flips by itself? Well, you gotta flip it. I'm not touching the stove. I know you're not touching the stove. I got you. I'm not going to wear the safety at. <laughs> I want to blow it in the plate when it's done. See how it's blowing bubbles? I want the pig to sleep. See how that's blowing bubbles? I want two pigs to sleep. They're sleeping all right. Don't you, don't you put your finger in. Because I know you're going to put your finger in. I won't touch them. Because I know that pan's hot. But okay, you see how, okay. Now, so you can cook pancakes for your folks one day. You tell, you see those bubbles? That's how you can tell it's getting ready to flip. Whoa, so I'm going to no, go and cook it real fast. Oh, Look at that. It's pancake. See how nice and golden brown that is? We don't want it brown. Yeah, that looks good. I want the, the pink thingy. Not until I'm done cooking pancakes. And it's going to be a few minutes. It's going to be a few minutes? Yes. Okay, Ella's decided she wants to lick the pink thing, and these should be ready. Mm -hmm. You like the pink thingy? What? You like the pink thingy? I did all by myself. Here's the first batch of pigs. I stood all by myself. Uh, here's our other pigs. This is what we got so far, besides our third batch of pigs over there. So we've been pig cooking. It won't be long, we'll be ready to taste this. Uh -huh. oh. Okay folks, we're gonna it, it's time for the taste test here. Um, the ones in the pink, they were good at 425. I filled them up, but it seems like the sausage links are too big for them, but they kind of overflow, but it's all good. You can still see a pink on the a pig on the top. The muffin pans, uh, I had them in the oven at 425 too. I think those should have been done at 375 for future reference and stuff. Hey, syrup. I like it with milk. So, let's go ahead and try it. Try it with the syrup first for everybody on the camera so we can tell them what we think about it. That is yummy, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. I ate the whole face. Now you gotta eat the pig. See the inside right there, the sausage part? That's the best part. <laughs> like, do, 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 do. But it's best if you dip it in the syrup. It's best to dip it in the milk. Mm -hmm. You drink the milk. Huh? Well, Ella Baby's weird. Now, yeah. um,. I don't know about these muffin ones. They kind of cooked a little bit on the edges there. But I'll try these out here real quickly. Mm. That's really good. These taste good too. Just 
just like this. A little crunchy. Not too bad. But it's still delicious. I like the muffin pan. And as far as the third way, I'm going to keep that for, I'm going to freeze those and eat those in another day. There's a napkin. So would you tell everyone to make these or no? Yeah? Yeah. Because they're yummy. I want to make ball games. Mmm. I like to make ball games. So anyway folks, thanks again for watching another episode of Cooking with Papa Tony and Chef Ella. Tell everyone goodbye. We'll see Bye. you next time and God bless. Bye everyone. Wave goodbye. Bye. Mm. Mm. Why did I not turn off?